My name is Marley. I'm a Monday.com workflow designer building solutions for interior designers and architects on Monday.com. So today I'm going to give you a high level overview of what Monday could help you with. Um, what I'm going to be showcasing is the Monday CRM, which tracks leads, opportunities, contacts, and some of the features that come with the Monday CRM, along with Monday work management here as well. So we'll get us to see a high level project management overview, um, individual project boards, along with capacity planner here as well. Um, give it a moment for it to populate. There you go. Um, going into our Monday CRM, all leads come in through the leads board. Now, a lead could come in from a Excel spreadsheet that you import, or it could come in from a website form here as well. This website form is created in Monday, and then you can embed it over into your website. So anytime someone fills out this form, it does land into the back end of Monday.com. You're also able to click into the item card, and, and you're able to email out of Monday um, as long as you have Gmail and Outlook 365, even if you decide not to email out of Monday, it does collect all incoming and outgoing emails for that lead as well. So you get to have a one clean place to put that information. You're able to add activities such as call summary or notes in here as well. Um, the leads go through a lead workflow for in, so for us in our use case, it's ready to contact, attempted to contact, discovery call scheduled, follow up later. If they're a qualified opportunity, they do move over into our opportunities board. So in here is where you're going to be managing site visits. Um, if it's requested, if it's pending, we do have, um, required pop-up fields where we say when it's scheduled, add the actual site visit date in here as well. This is also where we track deal value and we have a link back into our contact board. So if you click into it, you're able to see more of the contact information in here. Um, we also can get a really great map view from this location column in here as well. Um, in our opportunities board, we're also tracking proposal, whether it's pending, whether we're in negotiation, if we're drafting it, we have assignees who are assigned to each of these items or each of these opportunities. When a project becomes one, it notifies the team, but also we've linked it over into the work management side that as soon as a project becomes one in the CRM, it could auto create a project template based on what type of project it is. So I'll review that with you in a second, but back into our opportunities board. Um, after the one projects, we also have um, contacts board here as well. Within our contacts board, it lists out all of the contacts that you do have. If you are a commercial interior designer, we have the ability to also link into an accounts board. So you're able to track all incoming and outgoing emails for everyone within that accounts board as well. The other thing the contacts board does do is the ability to mass email users. Now this only um, could be integrated with Gmail or Outlook 365. But if you hit that mass email button over here, you're able to email them directly out of your inbox and the the users don't see that you've emailed other people. So that's a really great feature here. Um, within the CRM, we also have a very great customizable sales dashboard for the type of data and metrics that you're looking for. But on a high level overview, this is what we do have. I have a map of all of our opportunities in here. I have our deal distribution, whether it's won, lost, what, you know, the site visit um, ratio and the percentage over here. If I scroll down, we do get to see metrics on our um, forecasted revenue in here, Act to, uh, average value of our one deals and uh, actual revenue. All of this is highly customizable based on your needs here, but you'll see some information that we can collect. So you'll see that one and lost ratio. So the number of leads that have been won or lost, um, and then the actual revenue by the month in here. And we have a great pipeline conversion that we can also get for you for the number of leads that do go into the opportunities board. How many of them are actually converted over into our one? Um, one group over here. Going over into our work management side, this is where we would track project management and all aspects of project management. So 
as soon as a project becomes one, like I had mentioned earlier, it does auto create a project template based off, uh, sorry, yeah, a project template based off of what type of project it is, whether it's new construction, renovation, or architecture plus construction, you could create as many different templates as you do want. So this is an example of what a project board could look like. For us, our groups are going to be phases such as onboarding, pre-designs, um, SD, DD, and CD over here. We do have the ability to track assignees. We have the status in here. And by the way, for the assignees column, you can have as many assignees as you do want. Um, we have timelines um, that you can set along with planned effort um, and some other fields in here that we can go over in detail um, during a demo call if you would like. This board, this project board, if I collapse all of these folders, you'll see all of the projects that we do have. This project board links into our projects, sorry, links into our projects portfolio here. So on a high level, you could see all of your projects, the health of all of your projects, what stages they're in and what type of project they are. Um, if you have a project manager assigned to it, you can also see that in here, along with the task status of the actual project progress. So for instance, using um, 218 Aqua Way, you will see 33% is done and 7% is working on it. If I click into it, you can see exactly what's being worked on. And you could even do another click for a deeper drill down on that exact specific tasks. So you can see a high level of all of your project tasks and a summary of your projects there as well. You can also see the timeline that is coming in from the individual project boards here as well. Um, the other thing that you do get with the Monday work management is projects dashboard, which links to all of your projects that is linked to the project portfolio. So you can see the project progress of all of it here and then the statuses of all of them in here as well. And of course, in here, you could do a deeper drill down on if anything is stuck. I could click in on it, give it a moment to populate, and you'll see exactly what's been stuck and the and the more information on that task itself. Um, if I scroll down, you'll see uh, timelines and milestones in here. I've set dependencies on the phases. So if I move one of this phase over, the subsequent phases will also move over here as well. So if I move them backwards, it should move the other phases backwards here as well. It's colored by if it's done or if we're working on it. And that blue line, it just shows you exactly where we are today. We also have the ability to see a capacity manager. Now this will show you resource among all of your different projects. And on a high level, you're able to track um, the number of hours each person is allocated within a given week here or month or day. So if I zoom into days, you can see that information here. So going back into weeks, you'll see Marley J here, which is me, I'm at capacity. So if I open this up, you can see exactly where I'm at and you could even take this project and move this over so that we don't hit capacity as much and then maybe even click into it and change the number of hours in here of what Monday CRM and work management can do. I've added a link to our website in the description below. If you're looking for a longer demo or you have some questions, I'm happy to answer them. Um, I look forward to connecting with you. Thanks so much.